Ben Canning, and this uh, lecture is going to be on types of quantities. Uh, we're going to focus on vectors versus scalars and average versus instantaneous. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and if we've got follow-up questions, please take care of those. All right, so there are two types of quantities in physics uh, that we'll talk about, uh, namely vectors and scalars. Now, there are other categories we could describe measurements or quantities in, but this is one of the main uh, set of categories. Uh, so when we say quantity, what we mean are measurements, effectively, so a number, usually with units. Vectors are quantities that have both magnitude or size and a direction. Uh, so some examples that we've already talked about are uh, like velocity, so 22 miles per hour east, or a displacement like 200 feet north or 10 meters west, or sometimes you can even show it without saying the direction in a word. You can just show the direction with an arrow, um, hence the uh, description of an arrow often being called a vector, where the length of the arrow, like literally the actual how long it is, tells you the magnitude. Sometimes we also write that magnitude in the number form right next to it, uh, and the obviously direction it's pointing represents the direction. These are just some examples of vectors. Um, some other ones that exist that we'll talk about in the future are forces. Those are also vectors. We've talked about momentum before as well, and so that is a vector um, where, again, we have to factor in direction. And sometimes we'll have negative directions to show opposite of whatever positive was. Now, the other type of quantity in, in physics or in general, um, in science really, uh, is just a scalar. So a scalar is a measurement that just has magnitude or size. It doesn't really have direction. Sometimes that's because we're ignoring the direction. Sometimes that's because direction doesn't really make sense or fit with what that quantity describes. So an example where we ignore direction might be something like 26.1 miles, where you are focusing on the length and don't really care if you ran in a circle or moved in a circle or whether it was a straight line or some curvy path. It doesn't really matter. We're ignoring direction. An example where direction just doesn't really make sense would be measurement of volume. So you say like one gallon. If we had a gallon of milk, we don't really need to say like, oh, the gallon of milk is directed up versus sideways or down or west or east. That doesn't really make sense. Similarly, it doesn't really make sense to talk about mass as having any sort of direction um, or volume measured in liters. Um, but with distances, we can ignore the direction um, or we can choose to factor it in. So some examples of scalars. And that sums up vectors versus scalars. Uh, now let's talk about instantaneous versus average. So something that is instantaneous is something that happens immediately or at that exact moment. Oftentimes you'll see people snap like this when they talk about instantaneous, like what is your speed right now or right now or right now or right now. So you think about if you're trying to look at something that's instantaneous, you're just looking at a brief measurement at a single moment or single uh, instant in time. So in physics, instantaneous velocity or instantaneous speed is your speed or velocity at that moment. It would be like if you looked down at the speedometer, what speed are you going at that exact moment when you see it? A second later, it might be different, and that would be a different instantaneous velocity. In contrast, average is the measurement over a period of time or sometimes a period of distance or some sort of over some other area, basically. Um, so Often it will be over distance or time. Um, so uh, what was your average velocity for the two hour trip? Or what was your average velocity for the 100 mile trip, depending on how you want to describe it. Um, but what that means is, is that it's factoring in all of your times where you were moving a little faster, a little bit slower, and it averages them out, literally. Like you add them all up and divide by the number of things that there are. Um, so in other words, uh, another way to think about it is if it's not an instantaneous uh, velocity or an instantaneous measurement, so a measurement at that exact moment, then it basically is an average most of the time. That's a real easy kind of rule of thumb for it. Um, most of our measurements, just because we can't uh, t we, we can't measure things actually instantaneously, most of the time in this class we are going to be looking at average things or average measurements, even if we're not talking about it directly. 
um, but sometimes it will be useful to talk about an instantaneous velocity, like a beginning velocity, or an ending velocity, or a velocity at time of three seconds, or a velocity at a time of five seconds, as opposed to the velocity over an entire trip, or uh, fall, or roll down a ramp, or whatever it is. You'll often see uh, the equation for speed written as distance over time, or displacement over time for velocity, um, and this implies that it's an average velocity. Whether or not we actually write the average down there or not, the fact that it's over a period of time defines it as velocity, or as an average. If you were trying to get the instantaneous, the time over which you are calculating needs to be as close to zero as is theoretically possible. All right, so quick little summary. Um, instantaneous is a measurement at a single moment, regardless of what type of measurement it is. Um, it must be determined theoretically or approximated. It's not something we can uh, usually actually um, uh, calculate, uh, or sorry, it's not something we can usually uh, measure um, uh, directly. Uh, even if we think we are, usually there's like some sort of averaging going on at a very, very small scale. Some examples of you seeing an instantaneous or nearly instantaneous measurement would be a speedometer. Um, average is over a period of time or uh, over some trip of some sorts. It can be determined um, from measurements uh, pretty easily, usually. So if you're dividing by time, you've already got an average. Uh, and so that's it for instantaneous versus average as well as uh, vector versus scalar. Uh, please take a moment to make sure you have three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.